Hi there. My name is Dr. Samita. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'll be doing your head to toe annual checkup today. Can you confirm with me your name? Hannah. Hannah. Okay, perfect. And Hannah, how are you doing today? Doing pretty good. I've um, just been having some itchiness in my ears and my watering in my eyes. Um, okay. A little blurriness in my eyes as well. Itching ears and watering in eyes. When did this start? It's been about a week. Okay. Have you ever had this symptom before? Or these symptoms? Um, I thought it might just be allergies, but it's a little bit more severe than I've ever had before. Mm. So this is the first time um, where it's really like interrupted my life. Mm -hmm. So can you rate the itchiness? Let's start with the itchiness complaint. Can you rate it from 1 to 10, 1 being very little itchiness and 10 being the most you've ever felt? I'd say it gets up to like a seven or eight, or mm. I feel like if I don't itch my ears, like I can't think about anyone else, anything else. Oh, your ears? My e so my itchy is mostly with my ears and oh, my eyes. Oh, and just your watering eyes. And okay. like blurry. Okay. Okay. And has that been a constant seven or eight out of 10? No, it'll come and go, so it'll be fine. It'll be like a one, no itchiness, and then suddenly it'll just be so itchy I have to like mm. rub my ears or it just it won't go away. And how often do you feel that kind of peak itchiness throughout the day? Like a couple times an hour. Okay. I can definitely see how that would um, interfere with your daily life. Right. Okay, now let's rate the watery eyes from one to 10. How would you rate it? Mm, not as bad, maybe like a four. Four out of 10. And is that constant or does it also come in waves? It's, that one's more constant. Okay. Yeah, I feel like even now, like feel like a little bit drippy. Okay. I'll definitely take a close um, look at your eyes and your ears and of course everything else in the head to toe checkup, but especially paying attention to those two um, parts. Um, is there anything else you'd like to share with me in terms of that? Mm, no, just that I've had, like I said, I've had some allergies in the past, but it's um, never been this bad. Right. Are there any other symptoms that you have associated with it? Let's say headaches or nausea, dizziness, anything that you can think of? Mm, sometimes some, definitely some pressure under pressure. my eyes. I wouldn't say it's like a headache per se, um, but some pressure and then I'll have blurriness in my vision as well when my mm. eyes are, especially when they're watery, but sometimes it'll just feel like things aren't in focus. Mm. And does the pressure in the eyes coincide with all of these other symptoms, the itchy ears and the watery eyes? Yeah. Okay, so it's all happening at once. Yeah. Um, is that pressure painful at all? Can you um, describe to me um, how it feels? It just feels uncomfortable, like it feels like I need to close my eyes, like my eyes are just really tired. Mm -hmm. And if I don't, if I keep them open, it just like feels like a lot of, um, yeah, just pressure behind my eyes. It feels better if I close them. Mm -hmm. um, what makes it worse? Uh, just like keeping them open or being in bright sun, bright lights. Mm. Okay. Um, is there any any pain in other parts of your head or your neck no. or any other parts of your body that it might radiate to? I don't think so. Okay. And I'll keep asking you questions as we go on with the physical exams. Um, but yeah, is there anything else you want to add right now or any questions? No, nothing else. Okay, let's begin. I'm just going to take your temperature. Okay. okay. So 
So the temperature is 37 Celsius, so you don't appear to have a fever at all. Put that away. I want to take your blood pressure. Is there an arm that you prefer? I think the left arm is better. Okay. That's perfect. Do you have any history of um, high blood pressure, low blood pressure? No, I think it's been pretty normal. Okay. Any history in your family? No. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to take your pulse first. Okay. And I want you to raise your hand all the way up as you can and just pump your fist 10 times. You're just going to recirculate the blood. Great. Just rest your arm down. Perfect. Slow release. Okay. So your blood pressure is fine. One ten over seven. No concerns there. I'm just going to take your pulse. Okay, perfect. No concerns with your pulse or your respiratory rate. Perfect. All right. All right. So now I'm going to be checking your head, your skin, your hair. We'll start from the top of your head. Just checking the distribution of your hair as well as the health of your scalp. I'll come behind you actually. Any issues with your scalp or your hair? I just get a little dryness in the winter, especially. Mm -hmm. Have you had any trauma to your head in the past or recently? Not that I can remember. Okay, good. No issues so far. Let me know if you feel any pain or tenderness. Just feeling the skull to see if there's any areas yeah. of pain or tenderness. Maybe yeah. just, I feel that pressure a little bit in my eyes when you press like on down there. Mm, right here? Yeah. Okay. And how would you rate it from one to ten? Ten being the worst. Maybe like a three. 
a three. Okay, it's not too bad. Just move that down. All right. So I'll just start by popping the lymph nodes as well. Preauricular. Just let me know if there's any pain or tenderness when I palpate. Postericular, the nerve, occipital, scoreboard, tonsillar. Now I'm going to palpate the cervical lymph nodes. So again, just let me know, give me feedback. I'll start with the superficial joint. This one's feeling a little bit more tender than the others. It's not on too bad. Side. Yeah, on the left side. It doesn't feel enlarged to me, and it feels quite mobile, so it's not concerning. Okay, I'll just make a note of that. I'm going to be palpating deeper, kind of deeper chains. You just shrug your shoulders for me. She's there. Okay. No problems there as well. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and do um, a check of your head. So your eyes and ears and all of that. So we'll start with just an inspection on the face. Okay. Okay. Alright, now your eyes, your brows, you can keep your eyes closed. Your brows appear to be full and symmetrical. That's good. More apparatus. Do you feel any pain when I do this? Yeah, a little bit of yeah, that pressure. Yeah? Okay. Right. Not on here. 
A little less, but it's still a little pressure. Okay. Alright. Okay, just open up your eyes. Just, just by looking without the light. Okay. I'm just going to just keep looking straight ahead. I just use tangential light to check your iris and sclera, cornea, see if there's any abnormalities there. Hmm. You can definitely see the wateriness. Let me check your conjunctiva. It's certainly redder than normal. Okay. Let's check down here as well. You can look down for me. Yeah. And it's bilateral, which seems more appropriate to the allergy picture. Mm. And now I'm going to do some pupillary reflex. So just keep looking straight ahead. Okay. Direct is intact on that side. Intact on that side. Okay, let's check consensual. Perfect. And they're symmetrical as well, which is great. Is red, okay, and is is watery. Okay. And there's also let me just make a note that there is pain in in um, probably in the two dots. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to have you um, look at the end of this pen and just follow the light, uh, follow the pen with just your eyes and not your head, okay? Come a bit closer and see if just your ocular muscles are working correctly. Is there any nystagmus? Are you good? Perfect. No issues there. Issues with cranial nerves there. Okay. okay. Again, I'm going to have you take a look at the tip of the pen right there and just follow it all the way towards the center, going back. Look at the pen, look at the wall behind it, back at the pen. Great. Okay, so accommodation and convergence, which is cranial nerve 3, they are all intact. Good. Do you wear glasses or any kind of contact lens? No, I don't. No? Okay. Um, I'm going to check your visual acuity with a Snellen chart. It's going to have it be about 14 inches from you. And I want you to cover one eye. Mm -hmm. And can you read the lowest line for me? Just the numbers. Okay, I have 428739. Perfect. Um, now I want you to switch to the other eye and read that same line but backwards, just the numbers. Nine, three, seven. Eight, eight, two, four. Perfect. So that's 2020 vision, both eyes. Amazing. So right now you're not experiencing any blurry vision at all? No, I'm not. Okay, and this is not the worst of the wateriness that you're experiencing? No, it feels actually relatively okay right now. Have you taken any medication for this? I just took a daily um, allergy medication this morning. And do you find that that helps? A little bit. Okay. It used to be if I took one, I had no symptoms, and I mm. still have some symptoms. Now. Okay, so it's not quite a strong enough dose, and you're only taking one of the pills? Yes, once in the morning. Okay, and what, what is the brand? Um, it's uh, Allegra. Okay. Once in the morning. Okay. Visual acuity is now 
Okay, let's do some visual fields as well. I want you to cover this eye right there. Stare at my eye over here. So I want you to look for the wiggling tips of my fingers. Let me know when you start to see them, okay? I'm just gonna come up closer. Good. Uh, maintain that eye right there. No. Good. No. Okay. No. Perfect. Let's switch eyes. Okay. No. 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 Great. So all your peripheral fields are intact. Any issues there? Okay. Now I'd like to check um, behind, so in the retina, and see if there's any issues there as well. Is there any eye that bothers you more than the other? It sort of just switches back and forth. Yeah, oh, okay. I don't know. Okay. Let's start with this left eye for you. And adjust it so that I can see clearly. Great. Okay. Just look straight ahead for me. break on that side. I'll come over to the other side. Look straight ahead. Just looking for the red light reflex here and it's present, which is good. I'm going to edge closer to you. And I can see your arteries and veins. Doesn't appear to be any leaking. See the optic disc. That line seems clear. Okay, I'll just give that one a break. Go to the other side. How are your eyes feeling? Um, okay. A little, okay. Definitely a little irritated, but not too bad. Okay. So I'm gonna check your left side one more time. Look straight ahead. So I wanna try to make up the optic. Appear to be enlarged. Let's go to this ratio. Don't see any spots, so check some spots. Okay, look directly in my ophthalmoscope. Oh, okay. Macula appears to be fine too. No degeneration. Okay, one more on this side. your optic disc again. Mm. Okay, no enlargement of the cup. I don't see any spots. Any scars. Okay, look straight at my thumb scope. Okay. Macula looks good as well. Okay. Possible findings. Scars. Right, let's take a look inside now. Okay. Just starting off with looking at the ear canal. I noticed that. It does appear to be red erythematous. 
there is some clear discharge as well. Mm. Have you had any issues with your hearing as well? Um, not that I've noticed, but I haven't really been paying attention. Okay, well, we should just test that a little bit as well. Okay. Take a closer look at the tympanic membrane now. Mm. Okay. Well, I can definitely see that the tympanic membrane is intact. There is, I'm able to see all the bony landmarks. Mm. Doesn't appear to be bulging. No discharge behind it. It's quite translucent, pearly. Yeah. I would say it's more so the external ear canal that appears to be having some inflammation, some allergic reactions, but your middle ear looks just fine. Um, yeah, so, I mean, it's not concerning to me. There doesn't appear to be anything seriously wrong. It seems to be more in line with the allergies. Okay. Let's take a look at this ear now. Any pain when I do this? No pain. I felt that. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, master process feels just fine. Let's take a look inside. Mm. Yep. Again, I see that the external ear canal is red and there is that clear discharge again. Deeper look. The tympanic membrane does not appear to be bulging. It's intact. Bony landmarks are present. Cone of light is present at the right location. Yeah. So the findings seem to be kind of the same, symmetrical yeah. on both sides. Let me take a look at your nose. Have you had any issues with breathing or smelling? Or no, anything? not at all. We'll check for patency. Just breathe out. Okay, and on the other side. Okay. Doesn't appear to be any issues with patency. So let's take a look inside. I'm just going to see. A little bit on the redder side, I would say, but there doesn't appear to be any discharge as of right now. No polyps or ulcers or anything on that side. Okay. Also, a bit of therapy in my ear. No discharge. No ulcers or polyps. Sinuses. I'm just gonna percuss. Any pain or tenderness? A little bit. A not, little bit. Not there. too bad. Yeah, but it kind of goes like went up into my eye just there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's check the other side as well. How about that? That side wasn't as bad. Okay, so it's mostly the left side. What about the pressure there? Is there? It's the same. Yeah, it just sort same. of like shoots up a little. Side. 
Maybe a little. Just a little? Okay. Yeah, just a little. How would you rate your left side from 1 to 10, 10 being the worst? This side maybe like a 3, 4, and this side only like a 2. Okay. Let's check your frontal sinuses as well. Any pain up here? No. Dullness. That feels okay. You get that. No, that's fine. How's that? It's okay. And that? Maybe, yeah, maybe a little bit in the eye. Okay. A little bit in the eye on this side. Mm. Like it just kind of reproduces it, the pressure. I sort of, yeah, I sort of feel like my eye strain pressure when you hit it over this side. It didn't bother me on the right side. Okay. I'm going to take a look. I'm going to do some translumination, see if there's any blockage there. That looks like there's no blockage. That one looks clear as well. Let's look over here. I just want you to open the mouth. Um, it doesn't appear to be as clear on that side. Or on that side. Yeah, there appears to be some congestion, something blocking the oh, flow of okay. your sinuses. Yeah, it definitely was worse down here than up here. Yeah, okay. Have you ever had sinusitis or just any kind of sinal, sinus congestion? Um, just like when I get colds, nothing, not like any consistent issues. Mm -hmm. Okay, so nothing chronic. Mm -mm. And that was a three or four out of ten, you said? Yeah. On that side, and on that side, about a two. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay, I'm going to take a look inside your mouth. I'll start with just looking at your teeth. Mm. No signs of cavities or plaque build up. It's good. Just look up here. Mm -hmm. Looks like you've been doing a good job cleaning your teeth. Okay, I want you to um, bring your tongue to the roof of your mouth. Great, and then back down to one side, the other side. Great. Now say ah, and look ah. back to your tonsils, the uvula. Okay, uvula is midline, soft palate is freezing symmetrically. I want you to say that one more time and then we look at the tonsils. Uh, okay, I don't see any enlargement of the tonsils or any discharge in the back there. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to actually look at the pharynx just one more time. Uh, uh, okay, there's a little bit of a cobblestoning effect in the back, which shows that there's possibly some post nasal drip. Have you experienced that, or have, do you feel that at I all? I feel a little con more congested. Mostly just I'll get like a random cough, just out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. Just make a note of that. Lastly, I want to check your thyroid, just because, especially at this age, it's important to see if there's any issues there. I just want you to kind of do something tricky. Okay. Okay, so no enlargement. Was there any pain when you, no. when you did that? No enlargement. Okay, so um, based on my findings, it appears that you have a more severe um, allergic response this year. Do you have anything that might be attributing to that? Is there, mm. do you have more exposure to allergens, more time outside? Yeah, I definitely am outside more since I, I moved from working in an office to working at home. I'll mm -hmm. like work outside sometimes. Okay. 
and this is this the time when everything is blossoming so yeah. it's especially difficult um, so we, we may have to just um, bring your dosage of the uh, antihistamine a little bit higher just to give you some more comfort um, but I can also prescribe some other supplements that can help just kind of boost your immune system and help to lower the histamine levels in your body and kind of stabilize the mast cells so sure. what I'll do is I'll prescribe some vitamin C and quercetin and see if that helps um, you can also do some like raw honey that might also be helpful and a number of other things I'll just write those down and pass them over to you in a bit um, but yeah there's some post nasal drip in the back it doesn't appear to be affecting you that much though it's just a bit of congestion right? yeah yeah it's fine it's mostly just the itchy ears and yeah and the eyes yeah right and I can also prescribe a kind of a topical oil treatment for the for the ears to help reduce the itchiness and inflammation it's a very gentle solution that okay perfect should help. Um, do you use any eye drops at all? That no, have? never try them. Right. It's just watery. Is there any itchiness at all? Mm, no, just the itchiness. And then I th think usually it gets blurry like after I've been rubbing them for a while. And mm -hmm. so I think if it was less watery, I wouldn't have as much blurriness. Okay. I will prescribe um, an eye drop as well in case you're feeling any discomfort, any itchiness or anything like that. You can try it. Give it a try. I'm just going to have you swing um, with your back facing me. Perfect. Is it okay if I undo the back of your gown? Yes. Okay. All right. There we go. Perfect. So I'll start with just some palpation to see if there's any pain at all when I do any of these movements, any pain? No, feel fine. Okay, great. I want you to just say 99 whenever I um, place my hands on you. 99. Okay. 99. 99. 99. 99. Okay, great. I'm just going to do some percussion. Listening for any dullness. reduced resonance or hyper resonance. Okay, no issues there. Let's have a listen, shall we? Okay. It's going to be a little cold, okay? So just bear with me here. Every time my stethoscope touches your skin, I just want you to take a deep breath in and out, okay? Okay. We'll go slowly.
Okay, amazing. So all the lung fields that I've listened to so far appear to be clear. No wheezing or wails or ronchi, no adventitious sounds. I'm going to go ahead and check for your the expansion of your chest when you breathe. So just give me a moment. Okay, take a deep breath in and out. Amazing, both sides appear to be symmetrical when they expand. Just make a note. Okay, lung fields are clear. Relax yourself. Symmetrical expansion of the ribs. I'm going to listen to your lungs again, and this time I want you to whisper one, two, three for me every okay. time my stethoscope hits your skin. Perfect. So I wasn't able to hear you whisper through the stethoscope, so there's no positive findings there. And while I'm here, I'm just going to do a CBA tenderness test. So that's just checking your kidneys. Any pain? No. Any pain? Nope. Felt fine. Right. Okay. So I'm just going to tie up your gown. So you can just go ahead and lie down face up for me, head over here. Okay. All right, Hannah. So I'm going to continue to listen to your chest. So I'm just going to undrape you here. That's okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So I'll start with percussion. to listen to your lungs from the front. Okay. Again, I want you to just take a deep breath in and out whenever my stethoscope touches your skin. Let's try at the top. Amazing. Also, your lung fields in the front are also clear. No extra sounds there. Okay, start with just assessing your um, maximal impulse. Yeah, just 
doesn't appear to be a mirage. Is this it? I'll start with the mitral area here. Just going to check the aortic up here. Pulmonic. I'll switch to the bell so I can listen to some of the more superficial sounds. Then listen to your um, carotid artery. It's right there. Okay, and then I'll check the other side as well, listening for any breathing. Nope, sounds perfectly clear. Okay. Um, have, do you have any issues with your heart in the past? Any? No, it's nothing at all. Okay, yeah, your heart sounds amazing. I've heard S one and S two, and uh, there's no extra sounds. There's no splitting. There's no murmurs. So I'm not concerned with anything there. All done there. Okay. And now I'm going to move on to the abdomen. Have you had any issues in the past or recently with your abdomen? Uh, no, nothing. Not that I can think of. Okay. All right, so I will start with um, just percussion. So let's see if we can actually let's do panic mode. I've done this. Okay. Have a bell there. Bell there. Um, have you had a bell movement today yet? I haven't yet. Okay, that's probably why. It sounds tympanic throughout. Mm. Yeah, I'm not concerned with any other masses. This is the descending colon, so it, it tends to be dull in that area for any stool that's moving through. Okay, so let's auscultate. Okay, I'm just going to listen to this upper right quadrant.
So bowel sounds are present and they don't appear to be increased. Um, so I'm not suspecting anything like obstructions or any kind of um, diarrhea or anything like that. Okay, so. I also want to listen to your uh, abdominal area right now. Listen to the renal arteries as well. Okay, and then also the iliac arteries down here. Brewy sounds there, so they sound perfectly healthy. Okay. So now I'd like to palpate your abdomen. I'm going to just start with the same, the right quadrant, just superficially first, kind of light palpation. So if there's any. I'm going to have you bend your knees so that, um, just so your abdomen muscles don't get in the way. Good. Okay, and just a deeper palpation now. Let me know if you feel any pain, any tenderness, any sensations at all. Something that looks like this. Okay. I'm not concerned with, concerned with any um, masses in there that seems good. Uh, so I'm not concerned with any foreign masses in there or any new masses. Uh, now I'm going to palpate the liver. So I'm going to have you sort of help me out here in terms of your breathing. So I'm just going to, so I'm going to have you breathe in and out to feel this might be uncomfortable but I'm just trying to feel the tip of the liver no it seems very smooth no bumps that's good so now I'm going to palpate the uh, spleen have you had any issues with the spleen um I had some enlargement of the spleen when I was sick years back, but mm -hmm. it seems to be back to normal now. Okay. Let's check. Okay, just a deep breath in and out. Oh, not able to palpate at all, so it doesn't appear to be enlarged. So now let me palpate the kidneys. Deep breath in and out. I'm just going to put some pressure and try to feel the kidneys. They're not palpable at all. Okay, let's go on this side. Okay, deep breath in. Out, good. Non palpable on that side as well, which is good. And while I'm here, I'm just going to check your abdominal reflex. So there's nothing left to do here. Okay. Okay. Good. Great. Did you feel? Okay. Let your legs down now. 
So I'm going to check your popliteal pulls. I'll check this side first. Check the dorsalis pedis on both sides. Okay. And the tibialis posterior. Okay, perfect. Thank you. All right, Hannah, so I want to check your dermatomes. So this is just um, sensation of certain parts of the skin. You can see if they're symmetrical. I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to just tell me if the sensation feels the same or different on both sides, okay? Just do it like that. Okay, same or different? Same. Seven, same or different? Same. Okay. Same. Okay. Same. It's the same. Okay. Now let's do some myotone. So I'm just going to test the strength of uh, different nerves that innervate the muscles. Okay, so let's start up here. I want you to push against my hand. Don't really move you. One, two, three, four, five. Push back against my hand here. One, two, three, four, five. On the side here. Um, actually, yeah, no. One, two, three, four, five. Great. And I'm bringing over on that side. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Now you can turn into my hand. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Can you shrug up into my hands? One, two, three, four, five. Great. And then just don't let me move you. One, two, three, four, five. Now spread out your fingers. One, two, three, four, five. Let's squeeze my fingers and don't let me move my fingers out. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, you're very strong. Okay, let's do this side here. Okay. So don't let me move you. One, two, three, four, five. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, turn this way. Let me move you. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Very strong. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. And then just spread out your fingers. One, two, three, four, five. Great. And then um, squeeze my fingers. Don't let me move them out. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Tones are intact. I think muscle strength is average strength. Just average? <laughs> okay, so myotones are intact and your muscle strength is 5 out of 5, which is good. Dermatomes are also intact. Let's check your reflexes. 
Alright, so check your tricep reflex. Perfect. Great. Okay, two plus for all those reflexes. So I'm going to do the same thing with the dermatomes. Right, just start over here. Close your eyes, please. Okay. Say more definite. Okay. Say. Okay. Say more different. The same. Okay. Say more different. The same. to just kind of support yourself on the table like that and I want you to just move one um, leg at a time so kind of push that leg up yeah don't let me move you great other side don't let me move you perfect okay and then I want you to just kick up your leg don't let me move you yeah. fantastic other one don't let me move you great now backwards into my hand don't let me move you and just try to isolate um, so that you're not using your quads and just, yeah, great. Don't let me move you here. Perfect. And now I want you to just flex your foot up into my hand. Don't let me move you. And down into my hand. Okay. Notice that your feet are a little cold. Is that normal for you? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, and then go ahead and Flex up, good, and down, great, amazing. Now just check the temperature a bit in here. So it just kind of starts right at the feet. Make a note of that. Mm. Yeah, I pretty much always have to wear socks when my feet are freezing. Mm. Okay, is it the same for your hands? It's not as bad on the hands, I don't okay. think. Okay, all right, great. Just want to check temperature, texture, moisture, the skin here. Let's check your hands. Okay. Let's check the capillary refill here. It's going back very quickly, under a second. And there's no pitting or clubbing of the nails. Have you ever had issues with your nails? Um, I had a little bit of brittleness for a while, um, but it seems to be better now. Yeah. Yeah, it looks very healthy to me. And then the same thing here. I'm just going to check the capillary refill. Is that tiny little nail ring? Tiny <laughs> it's like little <laughs> thing on the fingernail on the baby. And also no no pitting or clubbing here, which is great. All right. All right, Hannah, so that concludes our head-to-toe examination. I didn't notice any positive findings there, so which is a good thing in medicine. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm pleased to hear that your symptoms from last week are getting better, and we can continue to um, stay in touch about that. Just keep me posted. We can schedule another follow-up for you as well at the receptionist desk. Um, do you have any questions for me or anything else you'd like to share? I know, just thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much. Right, take care now, have a great day. Bye.